Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, I'm finishing the decorating in this house. <laughs> decorating for what? I mean, how dare you even ask? <laughs> I am gonna finish decorating for Christmas. At least that is the plan to finish, but it's already one o'clock in the afternoon. I actually ended up having the day off from babysitting, so this morning, I took a little me time and made myself some Kodiak cakes and sausages with a banana and blueberries. And I sat down. What show did I watch? Oh, The Great Canadian um, Baking Show. I'm almost finished the fourth season. So um, yeah, I literally sat there, watched a show. It was about an hour that I sat on the couch. I made extra sausages for the dog so I didn't have to share mine. <laughs> It was just a good time. Um, I caught up on some comments this morning as well, drank lots of coffee, did laundry, and just got dressed because, well, I'd wait, I wasn't naked. <laughs> I was dressed. Normally what I do every morning when I wake up, I take off my jammies, I get dressed, um, but they're my morning clothes. So they're not quite jammies, but they're not like my going outside kind of outfit. Well, that's a lie because I usually drive the kids to school in that outfit. Um, but then when I am about to start filming, that is when I get dressed for the day, have a little shower, um, put makeup on if I'm wearing makeup today. Today I'm just wearing the mascara so I look awake and less like a turtle. Um, my skin is still suffering. And actually, one of my beautiful friends just commented on a post on Instagram that I made um, while I was in my hour of sitting down on the couch. Um, and she's like, you need to drop a skincare routine. And I was like, who me? Like, um, it's not perfect, um, <laughs> but I really do appreciate the compliment. I, it's one of like, one of these things that actually really does bother me is when my face has blemishes on it and I am, Accepting who I am and working towards a healthier me, mind, body, spirit, soul, ass, all of it. Um, <laughs> I do want to be able to accept every little part of myself, including the blemishes. And I hear that. Like, I feel it. Um, it's just sometimes harder for me to accept it fully and feel it fully because it's kind of like in your face. And um, I don't know. It doesn't come across on camera actually how dry my skin is. Um, so I really do appreciate your skin is beautiful. Like, <laughs> thank you. Because sometimes you need your girlfriends to tell you that, um, just to make you feel better because sometimes we can get down on ourselves. So if you're struggling <laughs> with your skin right now, then I am sending you the biggest combination skin kiss. Just hopefully it gets better. <laughs> or hopefully you can accept it easier. Um, there's a bunch of geese flying over my house right now and I can hear it. I don't know if that, if you can hear it, if that's what it is. If you're hearing anything weird, it's the geese, the Canadian geese. They keep flying this way and that way. I don't know when they're going to bounce out of here. We haven't had a big snow yet, um, but we did have snow this morning, just enough snow. <sighs> and I'm going to prepare you guys for what's going to happen this winter. Speaking of winter, my daughter. Her real name is Winter, actually. I, every time I say that, there's people like, what, I had no idea. Yeah, her real name is Winter, but we do call her Winnie. She gets Winter Bethelblinus when she deserves it, <laughs> when I middle name her. Uh, but yeah, her real name is Winter. And preparing you for the winter. <sighs> My daughter eats snow, okay? And I've had people unsubscribe for that reason, which is like, oh, your life must be flipping perfect then, you know? Um, she eats snow and I have told her time and time again, literally since she could put something in her mouth. Winnie, don't eat the snow. Don't eat the snow, honey. No, no, that's yucky. That's yucky. There's bugs in it. Ew, no. Ooh, that's so dirty. Please don't. The dog could have peed in it. Literally, I have said this to her. I have tried to convince her that snow is terrible and buggy and even poop and pee and bugs and mice and so many things, but it does not stop the child, okay? And so I have just, and maybe it's too, she's too young for me to have done this, but literally 
I just don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's because she's my third baby and my last baby. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I just can't care anymore. I really can't. So please don't unsubscribe. But this morning, my daughter ate her first handful of snow off the deck um, on the way to school. And I looked at her and I was like, are we really going to do this again all winter long? She's like, of course. <laughs> just like fine like you know I don't think you should do that right yeah but it's fine it's okay Curtis also doesn't enjoy letting her do that but it's like she has two hands and a mouth and we can't be there all the time to get it out of her hand we can't we can't be there we just can't and actually while I'm calling out my kids let me just take a moment to call out Cooper okay <laughs> we're sitting here friend to friend um, I called him out the other day because he got hurt on the weekend at one of his basketball games and it was the same damn knee. If you don't know what happened to Cooper, um, something really bad happened to him last year. Um, not in 2020. Was it 2019? Wait. Yes, it was 2020. No, wait. Damn it. I can't remember. This pandemic has made like dates and years like collide like it's so hard to have a good memory right now <laughs> um but i did just look back in my photo album here on my phone um and it was january 30th 2020 where i've talked about it in a video before so if you've been one of the friends that have gone back if you're new here and you've gone back to watch through the vlogs like you're amazing i love you you are a true friend um but yeah, January 30th, 2020. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail because it's too hard to talk about, but Cooper had an accident at school um, at lunch break with his friends where he slipped on ice and landed on um, a very thick and sharp piece of ice that was straight up like this on a ditch kind of thing. It was in between the school and the football field and um, it went through his leg and it it was really bad like really bad and i i talked about it in another video probably over a year ago now um but yeah i showed pictures and stuff but i kind of had to blur them out because i saw parts of the human body that no regular person should ever see and seeing my kid in literal sheer agony I can tell you without a doubt in my mind that was the worst moment of my life the worst moment of my life it was horrible the worst many moments because there were a lot of moments that it's like when your kid is in like so much pain and you can't fix it and you can't take it away and you have to let the doctors hurt him to make him better whoo he had 22 stitches and internal and external stitches he still actually maybe i'll show you guys the scar later on in the video because it's he, it's with him for life um anyways it was horrible um and it took it, he had to stop playing basketball there was so much recovery at home he couldn't go to school for like over a month um Anyways, and I was very grateful to have my paramedic husband who knew the signs of infection and it got infected, <laughs> um, I think twice actually. It was a very long road to recovery and he is still dealing with that injury right now. Now it's like, why are you gonna call him out? You just told us something really bad happened to him. Like right now should be the time where you're like, oh, crying and being like, oh, I just tried to be the best mom and I did. But there came a point to where it's Cooper's fault now, okay? Because at the time we didn't know the full extent of the injury. What actually ended up happening, um, which we found out later, was that he actually had an ACL tear at the same time that he fell um, onto that ice. And we just didn't know because he couldn't walk on his leg because of the major wound. And I'm, I'm not kidding guys, like, like, it was about this shape and you saw all the way to the B-O-N-E, okay? Like literally, and it was big and open and not that's what she said because it was horrible. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, but so once that healed and he could move his leg a little bit more, 
Um, it did take like a few months to heal and the scab, <laughs> there's a funny scab story, but I'm not going to get into it. It literally took like four months to heal. Um, anyways, um, so once he started walking again, we were like, dude, like you got to try to walk normal. Why are you walking with a limp? And like, what, what can we do? Maybe we should ice your leg. Where does it hurt? So there was like a whole major long story there that finally we got diagnosed. He had an ACL tear. We don't think it was a complete tear at one point. They did think it was a complete tear, but anyways, it ended up being a partial tear and he did physio physiotherapy for months that we had to pay for. Um, I think the government paid like a portion of it, but we still paid quite a bit of money out of pocket. Um, and actually at the same time, Curtis went through physio for an injury in his shoulder that he actually got um, being a firefighter and paramedic. Anyways, so they did physio together. We paid a lot of money for it. And we kept telling Cooper, like, make sure you're doing your homework because the physio and homework is like actual workouts for physio. Because if you've ever gone through physio before, then you know, it's not just you go to the doctor and they make you better. It's no, you go to the physiotherapist and you learn the exercises that you have to do at home daily to actually get better. Okay. Now, if you have a teenager at your house, you know where I'm going with this, okay? We have a rule in this house that it is, you get a free hour of gaming every day because I'm an amazing mom and I'm fair. So you get a free hour every day. You don't even have to ask, yes. Um, my kids do abuse this, right? Because they actually do um, use more than an hour. They're teenagers and, well, Winnie's not but I have different rules for her <laughs> because she can't read and do physio and take the dog for a walk by herself. If she's on her iPad for too much, then I'll say, Hey baby, you got to do something else because it's not cool. Um, anyways, but with the boys, they have a free hour. Of course they take more than that, but they get a free hour for doing multiple other things. So if they take the dog for a walk around the block, they get an hour. If they play with Winnie, um, like if they want to play on the switch with Winnie, they are allowed. If they want to play Fortnite with Winnie, they're allowed. If they want to play Minecraft with Winnie, which these are all things that they actually like to do, but they also earn more time minute per minute for what they play with Winnie. So if they play with Winnie on friggin' Mario Kart Wii on the switch for an hour, then they just earn themselves another hour. I know probably I'll get hate for this too. I don't give a shit. Really. I don't, um, cause that's the rules of this house. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Cooper, for the last like six months or so, maybe longer, has been telling me like when I'll holler down to be like, yo, Cooper, you gotta take your dog around the block. You've been on electronics for way too long and you're cheating the system, the mom system. And then he would yell up, mom, I did my physio. So I had an extra hour. And I'd be like, oh, okay, good job. He lied. <laughs> for months and the only time I called him out I did question it a few times and he would be like no mom totally I did my physio like I really did and I would question it but I'd be like fine you're being good you're not bugging me you're not bugging your brother you're not bugging your sister like okay fine yes I, I'll believe you until we're like how many games in for Cooper three four five games in he can't run. He can't walk. His knee is busted and crusted again. And I said to him, like, hmm, have you been doing your physio? And actually, he was a part of a conversation with his coach. I was actually talking to his coach, and then Cooper kind of walked over. And I was like, because to his coach, I said, I have a sneaking suspicion that he's been lying to me about doing his physio because he should be able to play. He should be able to be so strong in that knee that it should not be bothering him like it is. And I looked right at Cooper and I was like, you've been lying, haven't you? And he's like, well, maybe sometimes I, you know, tell a little lie. And I was like, have you ever done your physio? And he's like, well, yeah. And I'm like, when? A really long time ago. <laughs> I still love him, you guys. He's my baby. I love him. Um, but now... We are making him do his physio upstairs where we can see it. I'm timing him um, and he's actually back to doing his physio. So that was a really long story. What about Skylar? Actually, Skylar's doing great. <laughs> so my oldest teenager is doing great and basketball is keeping him in line with school. 
because they are being very, very strict about if you are failing any courses, you don't get to play. You will be sitting on the bench. So yes, yes, we love a coach. And oh my goodness, his coach is actually a little bit younger than me. We actually used to live like a 30 second walk from each other's house back in the day. Um, anyways, his name's Justin. He's such a good mentor. And he actually told us at the parent meeting, he's like, if your kids are misbehaving at home, let me know. I will run them. And I was like, dude, <laughs> you're going to be such a good dad someday. <laughs> his teenagers are hard, but no, Skylar's doing good. Anyways, it is literally 1.40 now in the afternoon. And I said I was going to finish decorating today. I did like start doing like a little bit and like I picked up and cleaned up and everything. So I'm not going to say today was wasted, even though I have that little bit of mom guilt. That's like, you shouldn't have sat down for an hour because you have so much to do today. But it's like, I'm telling that bitch to shut up because I, I don't need to hear it and I deserve to sit down. But now I'm going to turn up the Christmas jams and get to decorating. I can't wait to finish this cozy Christmas house. I am loving the way everything looks. And I mean, <laughs> it's literally my dream house. I don't ask for much. You know, I just want to be cozy and comfortable and warm and have everything we need. And we do. So I feel extremely blessed. Even if we can't, you know, go buy everything our hearts desire, we can't go on vacation. We can't, um, you know, go nuts for each other. Curtis and I for Christmas, it is going to be a smaller Christmas for us this year. Everything's gone up in price and like everything costs a lot. And I would honestly rather spend time with Curtis over Christmas where he is not stressed out and we are not stressed out and he's not running to overtime and stuff like that. So I'm choosing to spend Christmas with my baby and we're making it a smaller Christmas this year. And I'm down. I'm down to clown with a smaller Christmas. I think it's going to be wonderful. Um, there is like a little bit of Miranda that's like, oh, but you want everything. You want to buy everything that you see. Like, look at all that Disney shit. But yeah, like I, I have reprioritized my life a little bit in the last month or two. Um, and it's kind of led me to like a path of acceptance, which is what I needed. Um, because it can't really be the other way. <laughs> so I've accepted it, even though I didn't like it at first. Now I'm like, yeah, actually, this is a good thing. Um, actually tonight is going to be super busy because Skylar has his home opener game tonight at school. Um, and Cooper actually has basketball practice, um, in the middle of Skylar's game. So I have to take all the kids down to the school for Skylar's game. He actually wants to be there an hour early. So I have to drive him down, come back up make supper for Winnie and Cooper. Actually, I don't know if Cooper will want, anyways, cook, do mom stuff, and then um, take Cooper and Winnie to the high school to watch Skylar play, but then halfway through that game, I'm gonna have to take Cooper to the church gym so he can have his practice and then go back down and then go back up. And it's like, there's so much of this going, driving back and forth, like, I know I've seen like merchandise that says mom's a, a doctor, a nurse, a psychologist, a friggin' chef, a taxi driver. Now I'm really starting to understand the taxi driver aspect, but it's okay. I don't mind. My kids are doing what they love. But my reason in telling you that is that I want to get the vlog done and like literally up on YouTube before all of that because the last few days I have been staying up way too late editing and putting up the vlog. So I want to have it done and dusted so that today was just a day of getting stuff done and having fun doing it. You know what I mean? So Raya Carey, all I want for Christmas is you. Let's go.
Well, you guys, I don't know what your vibe is for Christmas, but my vibe is amazing. Is amazing, and the secret word is cozy. Okay, yeah, all I want to do cozy Christmas. is cozy it up with cozy blankets. Christmas. Cozy Christmas. Cozy watch a Christmas. movie. Have a snack. Watch a movie. Have a snack. And I'm having the favorite thing, seashells. <laughs> when he's having Captain seashell dinner. craft dinner for supper. I am going to end the vlog here in a minute because I wanted to edit this before Skylar's game, but I am literally but running Skylar down to the like, school right now. Like, so I'm hoping it won't take me very long to edit so I can get it done <gasps> before gone. I have my to go to his gone. game. Where did your thumb go? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Um, Winnie decorated the Polar Express tree with me and she did literally an amazing job. Did I stress? No. I, I, so I, maybe it's my meds. I don't know. But it just made me so happy that she wanted to help did me. You and she did a great job. Gone? Again? Gone. What in the heck? It's super hard. <laughs> but before I let you guys go, I am going to show you Cooper's leg, okay? They want to see the scar. The scar. The scar. This guy's getting ready to go to his game. They have to dress up for school and also for arriving at whatever gym they're playing at. So, and their coach informed them, if you are not dressed up, you will not get to play. So, Skylar will be dressed up every time. And he already was. He wasn't one of the problems. Well, maybe in other ways, but not for dressing up. All right, Coop. Can you show us your scar? Can we see your scar? I was talking about your leg today. Sure. And I was talking about how maybe you didn't do physio like you were supposed to. No, I definitely didn't. <laughs> Here it is, guys. And can you guess where the giant scab was? Right there. There's a hole there. So it's cut. It was cut here and here. 
and I think the hole is there because he he lost some materials. Still <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> it's still Poor numb. Baby. Yeah. But you got a cool story. Yeah, I got bit by a shark. <laughs> Just coming back home from dropping Skylar off at the school. I wanted to show you my lights outside again in case you missed it when we did it. And yeah, I said when we did it. <laughs> Curtis did it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're just here to end the vlog. We love you guys so much, and we will see you again tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I love Bye. you.